I met Davey, I think, in uh, spring of 1981, I believe. And he was working for my dad. Oh, this Smith is going to be a favorite around here. He was very much like a little kid still. And he was living with dynamite, which was um, not good for him. They were like brothers, but he did have a nasty side. He often did lousy things to Davey and for more for his own uh, amusement. He would give Davey a cup of hot chocolate, but it was in that cup of hot chocolate, there was a melted box of x lax He's going, I don't feel very good, and Dynamite would tell him, you know, have some more hot chocolate, it'll make you feel better. His older cousin, who he looked up to, he was so naive towards him. But Dynamite was always a huge influence on Davey, right from day one, whether it was steroids or whether it was um, pills. And Dynamite wasn't a guy that always had the best of intentions for Davey. At the same time, he would have told you back then that Dynamite was his best friend and best guy, the, you know, the, like a brother to him. And uh, so I called up Dynamite and I said, uh, I just made up a story that uh, my dad didn't want him staying at his house, that he was more comfortable with Davey staying at my house. And I think that's kind of saved Davey right there. Brett took me under his wing, took me like one of his brothers, you know, and uh, he took care of me. He, re he really did. And he was starting to become happier and starting to kind of fit in. And I think my sister Diana put her hooks into him pretty quick. They started a relationship maybe two or three weeks after he got there. Davey came up and uh, walked through the front doors of my dad's house. My sister Diana said, this is the person I'm going to marry. She literally said that while we were eating, she saw him and he was cute. It's burned in my mind to this day. I knew there was something special about him. And then we started to court, as he put it, behind the scenes because we knew the rules. I wasn't supposed to be dating a wrestler and he wasn't supposed to be dating the promoter's daughter and we both knew this and we still carried on. When love happens or when that arrow shoots you through your heart, nothing can stop it. And I'll have the groom with you. I, David, take you, Diana. I, David, take you, Diana. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. I'd like to thank, thank Stu and Ellen. You want a rematch? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank Stu and Ellen for bringing up such a beautiful, beautiful girl. I'm very touched that she married me. It was like a huge celebration. Jeffy. We had hundreds of people from all over the world. There was newspapers from Japan because Davy and Dynamite were superstars over there. In the Calgary territory, they went against each other all the time. I remember I was going to Japan a lot of the, in those days with Dynamite, and Dynamite was becoming this phenomenon in Japan. He was huge and one of the biggest stars they ever had over there. And Dynamite wasn't interested in booking him for a long time, and he used to go, he's not ready yet. They'd known each other all their lives, but I think there was always a tinge of jealousy towards Davey for just being um, less uptight than Dynamite was. Dynamite always was a guy that had a chip on his shoulder. Dynamite eventually put in a word for him and, you know, why don't you bring my cousin in? And uh, they started teaming up in matches as the British Bulldogs. Dynamite and Davey both became huge stars over there during that time. And, and it was right around the time I started in WWE. And I kept getting approached by uh, George Scott, who was Vince's right-hand guy in the booking committee. And he kept saying, we want the Bulldogs. Vince wants the Bulldogs. What a tremendous tag team combination. The British Bulldogs, Davey Boy Smith, and the Dynamite Kid. I can say that the Bulldogs in those days, Over goes Davey Boy. in 1985, Look at that nip up and nice we're doing things that most tag teams could never do. Oh, my. They were big stars. They did different things like the A-Team. They started getting commercials, endorsements. Even the people at Allstats were really clever because the British Bulldogs as the spokesman. When you got the monkeys, nothing else will do. The Bulldogs were one of a kind. Like, there was never a team like them, and there may never be another team like them ever. Really, until Dynamite got hurt. 
Dynamite was at the end of his rope, and he wanted to take time off, and he wanted to go home, and he couldn't keep going the way he was. His back was starting to become a problem. But uh, I think they thought, we'll be home, we'll help my dad, help Stu out, and we'll make our big money in Japan, and we'll be good. We don't need WWE anymore. I think Davey was reluctant to leave WWE in the first place, but he did so out of loyalty to Dynamite. I do remember disagreeing with Davey on that. Davey and I had a huge mortgage. So, you know, we were at risk of losing that. He had a family, you know, and then baby Georgia came along. But Davey, out of loyalty, stuck with dynamite. The British Bulldogs are coming back to Calgary, where we started from, and we're gonna come back with the biggest bang that you've ever seen. Davey and Dynamite are wrestling for my dad, but the territory was not doing well. It was really struggling. It was just not a good time in Alberta. And Dynamite's back started to deteriorate. When Davey told Dynamite that I want to go back to WWE and Dynamite did not want to go and he said, you won't make it without me. And uh, Davey said, well, I have to, I'm, I need to feed my family. And Dynamite said, well, if you go, um, you won't make it on your own. When Davey went back, to the WWE, it was like a divorce with Dynamite. And it hurt Davey a lot that Dynamite never talked to him again. I knew that Davey had something to prove to Dynamite that he could do this on his own. And I said, we need to give you a whole new image, whole new look. I said, what about these braids? And no one had seen Davey in quite a while. And he was really big and he looked so magnificent. I think Davey